Right, because I think we're on two o'clock now. Dave's got away with us. Yeah, five to two. But where it's coming in nice, there's our three quarter going all the way up. Hello, it's a. Uh, I know because I've checked, it's Tuesday the 2nd of April and it's about 10 past 8. No fools today. No, no, we had that yesterday. So, Alex has got a mix on, I've just nipped back because I forgot the DPC. So that's sorted. Cutter's ready, there's the new supercharger. Um, all loaded out. We've ordered a skip for all this and all this. Oh, is it all gone? All rubbish. All the bags? Oh, I'm guessing the rubbies. Oh. Oh, um, I was just about to start moving the rubbish, but um, it's done. All the bags have been taken outside, which is good. We still let out the um, fa uh, insulated plaster, but needs to go in. That's, that can be done. We'll take that out in a minute. There's our sill, which you've seen already that I went in to get the other day. Insulation, blah, blah, blah. Blocks. All the bricks are dry now. Vents for the cavity tray. But yeah, lines set up <coughs> for our bottom course. We need to cut 10 mil off all the engineering bricks to get them in there. And then um, it's the tray on top of that. Yeah. Now I'll just finish making noise in the bucket. Yeah, um, just this bit of insulation to go out. We'll take the sill out in a bit before um, we brick it right up. So I've just got the cut to do across the bottom. And the same on the back as well for the inside skin. So I'll get that done in a minute. And then it's door off. So these need 10 mil off them, the backs need 10 mil off them, which I'm going to do straight away. I'm just going to use these leftover bricks for the back. Then I've um, got a mixture of thermal lights and fibre lights, so they get going on the back skin. And they're going all the way up because we're reducing the window. Robbie's are knocking us a frame up, which I'm going to pick up after once we get up to sill height. And the door's not being kept, as you can see the door is knacked. So we'll be taking out with extreme prejudice as quick as we can. I brought the recipo, some bit of metal blade and cut it up and try and get that in the skip uh, as it'll only be a little skip. So yeah, once I'm, once, uh, I'm going to get the cutting done now and we can get cracking. Well, that was a bit hairy. Quite easy to come out, but um, once them springs are unattached to it, it's a bit, um, a bit wild. So we we, we closed it, but we forgot there was no brakes on it. So um, I got slammed in, in the block. In the block. Well, uh, <laughs> them blocks. I'll just fix that block please, before everything collapses. Dad opened it on my uh, on my head, so it was my payback. Yeah. So it's out. You can see how knackered it is. Um, so we're just freeing the the runners now. Once those runners are off, we take the whole thing out. It looks like the runners are clipped into the frame. So we're starting from the back and working our way forward. So we should have this out in a jiffy. I've, just, I've used the uh, sawzall to cut through all the ceiling, ceiling to make that a bit easier. And it's just three screws in the brackets and it's out. Classic example of having the right tools for the job. So the saws over the metal blade tore through all the uh, 
all the bits of frame we need to cut, cut all through all this stuff that we needed to get off out of the way. And it just popped off after we took a few screws out. So there he is on the, on the lawn. If anyone wants a bit of scrap, come and get it. Because uh, we ain't keeping that around the back of our house. It'll probably be getting chopped up and going in the skip. But we'll use the grinders to trip it up quicker than the sawzall. Sawzall is right for nibbling bits. So yeah, rattler and the sawzall. Got the, the screwdriver bit, the Torx bit and the little socket bit on it and that's all we needed. So it's done. So um, I can start cutting. Yep, you start cutting, we're ready to go. And we're ready to, yeah, we're ready to start. So the front edging is cut. We've got our three quarters now, which is a 170 cut at each end, so we've got that all the way up, probably all the way up to the top actually. Yeah, so that's your little tip. If, if it ever works out with a half in it, and we've said this before, but two three quarters eliminates that half, so it makes it look as less obvious. But don't put them in the middle. Yeah, you put them on each side. Ends, and it blends in better. And if you're doing that with bricking up a wall, or something like you're bricking up a window, or um, something, put your full brick or your half in first, then your three quarter. Yeah. Because then that way it's, it's much less obvious. You've still got your brick and half up the reveal yeah. and then three quarter push back, so it's not as obvious. I'm telling you, we're going to do a compilation of tips, tips and tricks, and we're going to put it up. Yeah. I'm telling you, we're going to do it. And hope somebody watches it. <laughs> yeah. I think right. you'd be surprised. So I'm starting on the back bricks now for Alex's block work. I say Alex's block work, we've got both going on the face work today until the face work's up. That's the main thing. And then if the worst happens and we don't get finished, we can always come back to do the block work anytime because we have a roof over it. So, nice um, brown mix, we've mixed it five to one. It's, um, it's um, a silo mix on the house, it's very weak. So we've mixed it five to one and put a tiny bit of brown dye in it because it's very light brown, the mortar. So, yeah, I'll get the rest of these cut. I'll, I'll just start get these ready to down and then pull away then and get cracking. Thank you. 
talk to you, man. I'll have a drink. I don't know, just chuck it over that car, please. Okay. I didn't know the car was. Okay. What in Charles missing again? It's out. Is it? So we're actually going to put the first course of block on and then we're going to put the cabbage tray in and then we can actually sit it and bed it and then we're going to have to um we just took the tower eyes out but we're going to have to put the tower eyes back in to put um a thin layer of insulation in and then over the tray and then back up back to normal after that so obviously the tray intersects the, in the insulation yeah Anyway, let's get cracking. Lines up, mortar's gonna be in the board any second and we've got to get cracking. Now the wind's died down, half eleven, it's always frustrating getting going. I forgot the door had to come off, which we forgot, <laughs> which takes time. Then you've got to get everything set out, get the tray set out. As you see all the vents are in, the vents don't quite work, which is a pain in the arse. I hate that when you have a single brick. But anyway, they're in. The brick work's coming in nice, there's our three quarter going all the way up. Both sides, which looks a million times better than a half. 
Um, this is what you're always battling with with um, garage, garage pillars, wonky bricks, which you've got to fail somehow. There's our tray with upstands at both ends. We've left the block weight down so that all the snots fall into the, we clean the tray then we can build it in after. Much easier, much easier to get clean. Um, there's a classic picture of Alex's there, look at that. You've just got to build around it. Um, yeah, half eleven. We're about an hour behind what we'd like to have been, but as always, we just keep plodding along. Plan is get it up eight, get the sill on, get it up, get it built to the top of the stool, and um, I'll I'll head off then and go and get the the frame off the robbies, and then we'll just put a couple of screws up into the soffit to hold it in position. So um, that's where we're up to. So in. Um, Bit more time lapse and um, let's get this still.
that one. That one, come on, that one then. That's the centre of the pit. I'll lay it down and guide it. Okay. <coughs> Flush the back. Yeah, Steve. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, just check it out. Thank you. <coughs> Put a level on it and we'll leave it. Put it away with a slightly bigger piece. Yeah. Pass it up. A level. How's that? It's got to be down to that, isn't it? So, you need to be, uh, get your own quick and get a little brand on it. Or it goes off too quick. Have you busted, busted the joint up? Yeah, it's next to no jump. Oh. Tight as you can get it. Right, rubber mallet quick. Right, I'm going to start a sec. Let me do this first. Film it. Before we start packing it. Level, please. Bloody hell. Hallelujah. It feels good, man. Hmm? It feels good, man. It's feeling something. Yes. Front edge. We're just ranging it in now. with a bit of box. We've got the diagram so we can maybe do that tomorrow. Yeah. Right, let's get it built up now. It's in position. Quite low. So there's a lot of uh, patching to do now but as you can see it's um we might have to cut these back to get us a full half. So I'll be asking the customer uh, next to us to move the car because I've covered his car and dust this morning. So we're gonna cut these back so it's a half. Can't have that as less than half. So this, these will be chopped, which I didn't want to do, but that's the way it works. And then it's going to be the sad three quarter, probably all the way up then. <clears throat> so it's three quarter half, three quarter half, all the way to the top. So now is the time where I go and see Robbie and get the frame and take him the blower, which he wants. Alex, do you want to jump in the back while I'm gone? Pardon? We're going to have to go through the house now, aren't we? To get in the garage, which is unfortunate. We'll patch up to the sill and then I'll go and then... Um, We're going to eat lunch first. He wants the blower. It's, 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 it'll just need uh, running over again. All this is done is tighten the joint up. It's okay. Touch. How's that? Perfect. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll hold this. Do you want to find those wedges? Okay. Now we need um, We need to be able to point the reveals of the brickwork. 
unless you just flush them. If we push this too far back on the cylinder, so it's going to tip back. Yeah. We'll flush it. Back to there. So keep going. Like, the the cylinder isn't going to tip, is it? Because it's sat on the brick. That's sitting directly on the on the brickwork, so. Like yeah, we still there. don't want to go too much. Like you want it there? Yep. To hold the two foot level. Oh no, we're going to have to go inside to fix it. I think it's just wedging it. Yeah. Just wedge it for now. Then we screw it to the top. Then. Hmm. Just going to screw it to the top. Unless we. Um, it's only temporary, isn't it? Yeah. So this is good to see the Robbies again. Well, thank you, Robbies. <laughs> Obviously this is always a massive help now we, instead of us guessing with plumbing and all that, we just string our lines up and work to this. So I'm just going to wedge it in because it's only temporary. Peter, you could have put it at each end, it would have better. Right, I'll hold it. Now plumb it. Can you pass me the level? Oh, I've got it. Why? From there into the brickwork, just to hold it, and then Robert can take them out and take it out. Wait, you're going to put gravity into our fresh brickwork? Yeah. That's not a good idea, is it? You don't knock it, should be alright. Yeah, that's quite nice, that. So that's... That worked bad. Right, time for lunch. Windows in. There you go. So it's all pit, it's all cuts and stuff now. Cuts and three walls is all the way up. And uh, there's a course of brick to put on the inside as well. But um, we'll have to do that later. And we have, to, we have to go around now to get in. We've got a door inside here but it's boarded up so we're going to have to go through the kitchen. Which is a bit of annoying. But um, it is what it is. So a bit of lunch and then back to it. Right. We're back setting in after a little setback. Frames in, we fixed it at the top with grabbers, that wedge is irrelevant now. It's all set in place, we need to point that, we'll do that tomorrow with a bit of uh, buff mortar. I'm ready to just go crack on with the brickwork, Alex is all set up on the inside. We've took the heat before sheet down, so we've got access. Instead of going through the kitchen and the house, we've now got this temporary access. So Alex is going to set up in here, get that rattled up, and then uh, catch just come over the brickwork. <laughs> so um, yeah, everything's in here that Alex needs apart from the mortar, but we've got uh, easy access now, it's going to make things a lot easier. So I'm going to start getting this brickwork up as quick as I can. Because I think we're on 2 o'clock now, Dave's got away with us. Yeah, 5 to 2. So. Because we know, you know, the baller he can be when he's fully fit. The T20 World Cup starts in June. And Nationwide says house prices unexpectedly fell last month by 0.2%. The building society has put the drop down to higher mortgage rates. That's the latest. I'm Charlie Max. Fix Radio Weather with Mark L Direct. Spread the cost of your public liability insurance with interest-free monthly payments. Fairly cold and cloudy, especially across Scotland today. Could see some outbreaks of rain. Elsewhere, though, dry with some bright spells tonight. Going to see more rain heading north across the UK, dropping down to about 7 degrees. Here's your daily handy headline. Last month, Checker Trade had over 170,000 leads for windows and doors. You know what to do. Join Checker Trade today. Check a trade, check a trade dot com. This is the Clive Holland Show on Fix Radio. Hey, we love Lucy. It's just gone two o'clock on Fix Radio. You with me, Clive Holland, and the Clive Holland Show. Don't forget, we're asking you: Would you? Would it be feasible for you to be able to manage a four-day week? 
or not. Uh, so I still want those messages, please. Uh, but of course, it's just gone two o'clock, which means it's time to grab your Hive's onesies in readiness for Clive's two o'clock threesome. Three bangers back to back to keep Britain building, starting with an 80s rock and blues classic from Deacon Blue, followed by a naughty indie banger from Franz, Franz Ferdinand. That is to say. Uh, and finishing with a 90s hip-hop groove from Big Willie Smith. So come on in. Hello. Hey, I thought you were having a day off today. I know what it's then. Come in. Clive's 2 o'clock threesome. Three bangers back-to-back to keep Britain building. 